Hello and welcome to another video. So this video I'm going to focus on how to answer questions that involve the natural logarithm um, as you see in this question. And so you remember this in case you did not know this that you can easily integrate e to the x dx your answer is e to the x and you can easily differentiate e to the x it will be the same thing you can also differentiate ln of x so we can take d dx of ln of x and our answer is going to be 1 over x the problem however is whenever this shows up under the integral sign what would be your answer yeah most students don't think about it until they see it you can't integrate natural log of x because at your level you don't know the techniques yet you don't you can't do double integrals because by definition the natural log of x is the integral from 1 to x of 1 over t dt this is the definition of natural log of x of natural log of x so what if they ask you to integrate this it means you're going to be integrating an integral yeah that gets more complicated that we can deal with and because we don't know how to do this yet we're just going to look for some techniques of integrating natural log of x and i've chosen this question to be the basis of it Let's get into the video. So let's start with the knowledge that the only thing you can do to a natural log function is differentiate it, not integrate it. And what we're supposed to integrate so you must remember that there's a technique in, in integration that allows you to differentiate something and it's called different uh, integration by parts. So integration by parts tells you that when you look at the function, if there are two or more functions, if there are two functions, you take one of the functions as something to integrate and one of the functions as something to differentiate. And that gives you the opportunity to take the natural log functions to function to differentiate but right now we only have one function so what's the where's the other part firstly let's start with the formula for integration by parts because that is where this is relevant so we have um, and what that means is that you're gonna assume this function is a function f okay multiplied by dg that is this the second part the second part of this function is a derivative on its own and you're gonna say it is fg minus the integral of g df so what that simply means is what you've got here you have to assume is this and then you create this and then you integrate this. Okay, now look at what we have. Do we have f and g? Do we have oh, f and dg here? Well, because you only have a single function here, the natural log of one plus x squared, and you have dx beside it. Well, because you can only differentiate natural log functions, you must take that as your f, because that's what you're gonna end up differentiating here. So take the natural log always as what you should differentiate that will be your f remember natural log is always your f f for natural log okay so we can rewrite this expression right now but before we go on what is dg well dg is uh oh well dg has to be dx remember that dg is going to be dx and f is going to be natural log of one plus x squared remember that if there's another a second function that could be your dg if it's easy for you to integrate it otherwise we might have to look for something else to do okay but for now we're gonna say let f be equal to um natural log of one plus x squared okay and then we'll try to find df 
df will be equal to the natural log of this. Okay, the natural log of 1 plus x squared. Now remember this, this makes your work faster. Whenever you integrate, I mean, you differentiate a natural log function, your answer is always the derivative of what's inside divided by what's inside, 1 plus x squared. That's it. I think you should remember this. So when you, anytime you do this, so if it is natural log of x is equal to the derivative of what's inside over what's inside. Okay, now you remember that. So what is the natural log of cosine x? Well, it's the derivative of what's inside over what's inside. And that's it. So that's negative tangent of x. So you, you just need to master these things, but let's, let's move on. Let's clean that up. So now, the next thing to do is to complete it. We have f, we have df. Um, what about dg? Remember, I said dg is going to be just dx, okay? Because that's the only thing available for us to work with. And this is going to be, and what is g? Well, if you integrate this and integrate this, you'll end up with g equals x. So now you've gotten your entire expression and we can go back to this formula, substitute it and look for what we need to find. So we can say the integral of um, natural log of one plus x squared dx, which is what we have here, will be equal to f times g. f times g will be x ln of one plus x squared minus the integral of g times df. Oh, we're going to multiply this by this. Well, if we do this multiplication, g times this is going to be 2x squared over, I'm going to switch this to x squared plus 1. That's interesting. So the way we see this, it looks like this is our question, this is part of the answer, and this is the second part of the answer. Well, the second part of the answer, we can actually integrate this, this we know how to integrate, and we'll be good. We can come back and just plug in the final answer here. So let's do this integration on this side. So how do we, um, let's just put a note here. So we say note that the integral of 2x squared divided by x squared plus 1 um, this cannot be simplified. U substitution will not work. There's a polynomial over a polynomial, so we should do partial fractions. Yeah, but we can't factor the denominator. But what we notice is that the exponent here is the same as here, so we have to do long division in order to get, break this into two fractions or two parts. Okay, so we have to do this. This is partial fractions. What do we do? Long division. Let's do the long division quickly. Let's just say that if we put the top dog inside the house, that's 2x squared, and we put this here, x squared plus 1. We have to divide this by this, so let's do it. What do I need to multiply this by in order to get 2x squared? It's going to be 2, so I multiply 2 times this, that's 2x squared, and then 2 times 1 is going to be plus 2. Uh-oh, so I just put plus 0 here just for aesthetics reasons okay and we do the subtraction what i've got here is negative two so the remainder is negative two the quotient is two so this expression here can be written as the integral of this quotient two plus well this is going to be negative two but i'm just going to write two plus the remainder is negative two over x squared plus one okay Sorry, i got to put dx here. And I've got to put dx. Oh, here. dx. Come on. And dx. Okay. So, I can erase this because that's how you just do your long division. These are skills you must have obtained from pre-calculus. So, nobody needs to teach you this at this stage. Okay. Let's break this down. So, this is going to be the same thing. Um, let's drag this arrow down here. So this is going to be the same thing as the integral of 2 dx minus the integral. I'm going to bring out this 2 
Okay, or let's just say plus the integral of negative 2 over x squared plus 1 dx. Now let's finish this up. If you integrate 2 dx, you're going to get 2x. And we're done. Plus, well, well, we can bring this 2 out and it's going to give us negative 2 integral of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. Well, that's equal to 2x minus 2. What's the integral? Wow, well, what's this? Remember that this looks like the tangent integration. Okay, so when you integrate this, you're going to get the arc tangent integration. That's another technique. So you notice that we have done um, integration by parts. We have done um, partial fraction decomposition. In this case, also, integration by partial fractions. And we still did long division. And now I'm going to do trig substitution. Interesting, because my x is going to be tan x. I mean, my x is going to be tan theta, and then I'm going to come back. But I don't want to go through that. If you integrate 1 over x squared plus 1, it's going to give you octan of x. Okay? Then we can add plus c to that. So, this is the process. So I'm going to go back here and add this portion that we did not finish to the answer. So our final answer here will be, let me put it here, will be equal to x ln of 1 plus x squared minus this answer. Well, if I subtract this, this is going to become minus 2x, and then this is going to become plus 2 arc tan x plus c. That is the answer to that innocent looking problem. So the purpose of this video was to show you the steps you needed to take to get to this point. So the, this portion gave us this and this original portion we just got from the first thing. You'll always get the first part as soon as you do all your choices and your differentiations and integration. I hope you learned something. Please leave a comment under this video. Give it a thumbs up, give it a share, give it a like. And remember, those who stop learning have stopped living. So, never stop learning.